King Charles, Sandringham home looks like Disneyland amid three personal projects. King Charles is staying busy this summer even though he is receiving treatment for cancer. In addition to attending public events, the monarch is supervising improvements at Sandringham, his Norfolk residence. The king, who is well known for his passion for gardening, is currently building an intricate pergola covered in wisteria on the property, and his new maze garden is almost complete. The Grand Sandringham House's promenade was closed while the pergola's foundations were being erected. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The pergola will have brick columns and wisteria coverings in the end, how very Bridgerton. Taking inspiration from brick pillars in the private walled garden, the pergola will give a structure to train wisteria, reads a sign in front of the new pergola project. At some point, the pergola at the end of Lime Avenues will offer a lovely canopy to gaze through in order to observe Buddha when approaching from the south. The king is working on a number of renovations to update the estates outside and interior. His mother, the late Queen Elizabeth II, loved the property, and the pergola is the newest. The projects are scheduled to be finished this summer. King Charles is adding even more whimsy to the estate, not satisfied with his wisteria that is reminiscent of Bridgerton. Aerial photographs show that the lower maze garden is nearly finished, having started construction earlier this year. The intricate labyrinth Charles used to play in at Sandringham served as the inspiration for the square maze made of topiary hedges. Along with transforming an acre of lawn into an environmentally friendly topiary garden last year, King Charles also made significant investments in new species that are more resilient to the effects of climate change. King Charles has requested planning permission to construct a solar farm to provide electricity for the 20,000-acre estate, demonstrating his apparent commitment to sustainability. In order to generate carbon-free electricity, the monarch plans to install some 2,000 solar panels on horse grazing paddocks. The solar farm will address current and expected future electricity demands of the Sandringham estate, according to the designs submitted to West Norfolk and Kings Lynn councils. According to the application, no viable agricultural land would be lost as a result of the development, the position of the planned panels is visually contained by existing development and mature foliage. This summer, the king hopes to build an 18-hole crazy golf course to the property and create a camping area with 15 safari tents, a nod to Disneyland, if we ever heard one. The 80th anniversary of the D-Day landings was celebrated on Thursday in France with a number of commemoration activities that Prince William, Queen Camilla, and King Charles attended. The monarch and his spouse paid a visit to the Ministry of Defence and the Royal British Legion's anniversary event at the British Normandy Memorial at Versomer, where they served as the organization's patrons. Together with French President Emmanuel Macron, his Majesty presided over the ceremony at Gold Beach. The site honors 22,442 service members who perished on D-Day, and during the Battle of Normandy in the summer of 1944 and was inaugurated in 2021. The men were under British command. Charles looked sharp in a Field Marshal No. 4 tropical service dress adorned with decorations and medals for the special event, and Camilla looked sophisticated in a flowing white coat dress and matching hat. She paired her outfit with pearl earrings and a stunning diamond scallop shell brooch.